Hi everyone, and welcome to the 3D Experience Forum here at Beautiful Caesars Palace. Today we're talking with Vasim Khan. He is the Global Vice President of Engineering and Chief Engineering Officer at McDermott. Vasim, you've spoken about driving fundamental change at McDermott uh, with the SO Systems. Can you please elaborate on that? Um, McDermott is a 125 year old oil and gas company. So we are um, very traditional and the oil company, oil and gas industry itself, all oil companies are very traditional. As technology has developed, as new people come into the industry, we need to change the way we work. So if you were to ask a typical engineer in my office what she or he does, she or he would say, I engineer pumps. If you were to ask a, someone in our yards what they do, he or she would say, I fabricate structures. But what do we really do? What we really do is we deliver projects. We deliver refineries and LNG plants. So we don't engineer pumps for the sake of engineering pumps, and we don't fabricate structure for the sake of fabricating mm -hmm. structure. So Lewis, you can see where this is going. Mm -hmm. We work in a very siloed environment. Mm -hmm. So what we are looking for and what we are uh, doing is using a platform to break down these silos. So we create a digital workflow, which a lot of people call a digital thread, but we are creating the digital workflow so that the silo is eliminated and it's the process which is governing what we do. Mm. So the digital workflow means that I'm not, engineer, I'm not an engineer for pumps, I'm part of a team which delivers a product. So the 3D Experience platform um, provides you with an ability to become co-collaborators in creation with your customers and be able to more effectively manage time and cost constraints. Absolutely. Yeah. What we lack in the industry is a true collaboration tool, A. Second thing we lack in the industry is the ability to get information in a timely manner. Because what do we need to do with information? We need quality decision making, which means the information is correct and the information is available in real time. So the tool for us is a powerful means of making good quality decisions in a timely manner, which allow transparency, and transparency fosters collaboration. Mm -hmm. Not only us and our customers, but also our sub suppliers and our vendors as well. We all live in the same platform. You mentioned the single source of truth and you even provided some schematics up, on the, up during your keynote, which I found absolutely fascinating and really useful. Um, can you elaborate on the single source of truth as it relates to your ongoing initiatives in McDermott? So truth in a typical, typically in our industry is derived from multiple sources of information. What we need is to be able to discern what is the correct piece of information and make sure that that correct information is then disseminated to the team. So if the team goes looking for information it finds a single piece of information in a single location. It doesn't look for it in 10 disparate databases. I mean, it doesn't do a Google search where you will find everything under the sun. Mm -hmm. Focused searchability to give you correct information in a timely manner, absolutely essential for a collaborative environment. Where do you see the future going with regard to the partnership with the systems? What are you excited about the future between our companies? Absolutely, because the systems that we have adopted using uh, Dassault as a partner, and I see Dassault as a partner, allows us to deliver the product safely, but more importantly, on budget, on schedule. Because that's the ultimate aim, is that when a client trusts us with their money, and it's their money, uh, they have an expectation that we will spend the money wisely. So the tools that we have on the platform allow us to do that, to achieve that purpose. Mm -hmm. What I found fascinating about your keynote is the grasp of metrics at a strategic level and then the ability to quickly drill down within a silo in effect to obviate that silo with better data. Uh, is, is that a core aspect of where you're going in the future as well, is completely obliterate these silos with more real-time metrics and, and better visibility right. down to the performance level? We have to be realistic. Silos will remain. Yeah. They're not going to go away because, and, 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 and in some cases it's appropriate to have them because you need specialist mechanical engineers, you need specialist planning uh, engineers and so on. So those people are needed. You call them a silo, call them a center of excellence. They are required. What we are doing is that create a digital thread between these silos so that the silos have a, let's say, a, a wall which can go away when we need it to go away. Mm -hmm. And the ability to drill down, absolutely, because the CEO of the company needs information at one level. 
but someone who is designing a product needs information at a much higher level. If the database, if the lake they are drinking out of is the same, then they will have the same data. It's just that the definition of the data will be higher for one compared to the other. Mm -hmm. Again, single source of truth, the level of detail is whatever you want it to be. Yeah, so it sounds like the digital thread gives you the ability to flex silos and expand and contract depending exactly. on business conditions. Exactly, yeah. And a silo on one project may be a different silo on another project. Mm -hmm. As long as we realize that we need people who are domain experts, silo, but with the ability of moving that information between these domains, so-called silos, effortlessly. That's the objective. Mm -hmm. And with the 3D Experience platform then, do you have the opportunity to contextualize that data for the engineer doing finite element analysis, building uh, actual designs, all the way up to the CEO and the C-level suite who wants the financial data, the implications of that design decision. Right, uh, and that is the objective. We're actually not using the 3D platform for any financial data. The, what we are doing, however, is creating an interface with our ERP so the, fin or the, the data that the financial people need is easily extracted, and again, what is it? It's a single source of truth. So they don't have to go looking, the finance teams don't go have to looking in multiple data places, multiple offices, for the data they need. It's in one place. Mm -hmm. So again, so we're creating, let's say the ERP is a silo, but we're creating a thread between the silos, a digital thread, a digital workflow, which allows us to effortlessly move information back and forth. So attaining speed and scale on your projects to ensure schedules or even excel at beyond schedules. Uh, oh. You know, to be honest, if we just meet schedule, I'm a happy man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Being able to... We want, don't want to over-promise to, yes. to our clients either. Yeah, yeah, so, absolutely. delivery assurance. I think, let delivery me put it in, 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 in a more succinct manner, is what we're trying to achieve is delivery assurance. And that is in form of budget, schedule, safety. But if we promise something and we deliver, I think that's a success. Yes, and so by using the 3D Experience platform, you're able to create this expectation level and be able to meet that expectation level thereby creating trust into an accelerator with Correct, customers. it's one of the essential tools for delivery assurance. Mm -hmm. And it's work in progress. Mm -hmm. You know, we started this journey two years ago and I have no doubt we've got a long way to go. The projects we're doing are becoming bigger, they're more sophisticated. Um, you know, McDermott's backlog today is $15 billion, so it just the numbers show that the complexity of the work we do. And we hope you know, that the uh, systems we use will be able to grow as projects grow more and more complex. Mm -hmm. Does the 3D Experience platform give you the ability to flex and scale on a global basis for your globally oriented projects easier than legacy systems had in the past? Um, again, as I said, it's work in progress right now, yeah. but we believe it will. When fully implemented, it will allow us to work what we call follow the sun engineering. It will be allow us to seamlessly tap into the same data and engineer in any of our 16 engineering offices. And as you move forward with the SO systems, are you thinking in terms of a roadmap of where you go as a partner with the SO systems into 2020 and beyond? 2020 is actually a very short horizon. Um, you know, a typical large project we do is six years. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the horizons we use are quite large. But yes, we have a roadmap in mind, but we also realize that we must be flexible because we don't control the industry. So the roadmap, yes, but as Mr. Smith, who talked earlier today said, you have to have flexibility. So, you know, we may have our Dancing with the Stars moment as well. Mm -hmm. um, and so we need to ha have an, a goal in mind, but we need to be flexible to move with the market. Yes. And as new products come online as well. Yes. And the digital thread, it, it, it reverberates with that yeah. ability to flex. I, I think one yeah. unchanging part of all of this is, uh, is the digital thread, as we call it. We prefer to call it the digital workflow. That the workflow itself may change, mm -hmm. but the fact that it is a digital workflow, which is basically running a, a path through all of our so-called silos, that concept, that principle we want to maintain. Vaseem, thank you very much. It's an honor to speak with you. And thank you. And if you'd like additional information on 3D Experience Platform, please go to our website and make it a great day.